So Tottenham finally get a win in the Premier League after three consecutive defeats. Tottenham Hotspur 2, Aston Villa 1. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. Aston Villa at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium today and it is very fair to say that we need a win in the Premier League. Three consecutive defeats in the Premier League in the last couple of weeks, simply not good enough. Losing away at Crystal Palace, losing at home to Chelsea and last week's display in the North London derby against Arsenal, dreadful, absolutely dreadful. We got back to winning ways on Thursday, beating Mora in the Europa Conference League 5-1, Harry Kane hat-trick. But we need a win today. We need to see the passion, the commitment from these players, and we need the three points. I'm walking to the stadium now. Come on, you Spurs. So just stop for a pre-match pint with Spurs fan Adrian. Adrian, how are you feeling ahead of today's game? Confident. We've got this. I think Nuno's going to turn it around. I think I fancy think, I think Kane because back to winning ways. It takes them a month to get going, doesn't it? So I think... Kane will score again, I think Son will get one as well. Yeah, 2-0, it won't be easy, it'll be a hard, tough game, but I think they'll get one in each half. I've got to ask a question, where's the confidence coming from, particularly after we've lost our last three Premier League games, Crystal Palace, Chelsea, Arsenal, particularly the Arsenal defeat, it was hard to take, wasn't it? Well, I'm always confident coming into games. So I wouldn't come if I didn't think we could, we would, we would win anyway. You know? But I, I think we got we got more quality than them. They've got good players. I mean, a lot of there are fine margins between winning and, and losing or drawing games in a Premier League. But I just think with the crowd behind us, I think uh, they make a big difference, didn't they? Like they did against City. I mean, the crowd are fantastic. Down there. Adrian, I hope you're right. I hope we do pick up the three points. We certainly need them. Come on, you Spurs. So I've got my good friend Jason McGovern with me. Jason, how are you feeling ahead of today's game against Aston Villa? Not confident. Uh, I'll admit it, um, midfield is such a mess that I worry they'll have... They'll be too intensive for us in midfield. John McGinn will run riot in midfield. And nobody has the, the brain or the, the, um, the desire to match what his efforts do. And that will be the deciding part. Let's talk about positives. What positives have you seen from Nuno Espirito Santo and Tottenham this season? What? I don't have the problem that everyone has with Nuno. Don't get me wrong, I'm not happy with Nuno. I didn't want Nuno. But I think Nuno's the least of our problems with Tottenham. Uh, we, we get a win in a week. We win by five. Gio plays 90 minutes, gets a goal and an assist. But the intensity levels in Mora are not the intensity levels in the Premier League game. And until we get that midfield right, and Nuno's tried every combination, and no combination works. So it's really hard for him, in fairness to him. Are you feeling confident ahead of today's game, though? We need a win, don't we, Jace? Come on. Of course we do. Of course we need a win. But, but I just think the game was, is one I lost in midfield, and, and Villa have just got more in midfield than we have. They'll, they'll be more intense. They'll hound it more than we will. And, and that's that's where I worry. Villa are a good side. They've just gone to Man United and, and played really, really well. Yeah. Went to Chelsea, played on the front foot. And, and I worry about us today, seriously. What score prediction are you going with? I said 2-0 on the pub the other night. I'll go 2 I fancy it's now to score. But if I'm honest, I'll go 2-1 Villa. That's just being honest. It's being honest with me. Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> So I'm now with Spurs fan Ricky. Ricky, score prediction today? 2-1 or 3-1? I'll Tottenham? take it. Oh, of course. You can never back against Spurs. Come it, on. it is a must-win game today, It's a must-win game because Watford have just sacked their manager and I don't want two managers to go on the same day. No. Right, we've, we've now got Ian with us. Ian, <laughs> about that. Ian yeah. score prediction today? Uh, Tottenham 2. And who were we playing? I've forgotten who we're playing. Aston Villa. Yeah, I'm joking. Uh, yeah, 2-0. You weren't joking, were you? What? No. <laughs> no one. Yeah, was. You're going for a Tottenham I'm win? Going, Tottenham win 2 0. Yep. Change your tactics as well. We're going to play for three at the back. What makes you so confident? Because they're going to play three at the back. Well, it's the first time we've got a full squad back, isn't it? So we'll be fine. Yeah, I, I believe even Bogbo's back today as well. Love your confidence. Thanks, Ian. Come, Come on, on, on Spurs. Spurs. So I'm now with the Don Dave. Dave, 
How are you feeling ahead of today's game? Yeah, uh, a lot better after Thursday's result. Well, it must have been. Uh, it was lovely to see them goals go in. Uh, it was a bit shaky after after half time and they got one back and then they had a number of the big boys from the cavalry came for the rescue. But uh, yeah, 20 minutes actually. Where are you? Spare me about that. We need a win in the Premier League, Dave, don't we? We do. Are we going to get it? Well, they turned us over uh, last April, I think it was, uh, in the league, and uh, we took the lead. Uh, it's going to be difficult. Yes or no, Dave? Are we getting it? <laughs> well, not, I think we will. I mean, we need it. And I think, you know, yeah, get, well, get the first goal, get the second, let's go for 3 0. Let's go bullish. Let's go bullish. 3 0. Sunny and Tumble. Uh, you've got to buy into it, haven't you? Yeah, Davey's on the beers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you Spurs. Chelsea. So I'm now a Spurs fan. Tony, Tony, score prediction today. <laughs> Hello? Well, my, Are we paused? I'm just trying to think, because my, my card says I'm playing Chelsea. So if we're playing Chelsea, we're going to lose. Playing us and Villa, I think we're going to I think we're draw. Draw? Draw, because Danny Ings. Danny Ings. Danny Ings, just Danny Ings for the slot. We should have signed Danny Ings, shouldn't we? We should have signed him, yeah. Could have had him. Is it going to be a boring 0 0, 1 1, a 2 2, 3 1 0, 1 0. 1 0. 1 0. 1 0. And Gil for the score. I'm going to go for 1 1 as well. What have you made of Tottenham's season so far? This is a child friendly. No, I can't say, but not very good. Not very good at all. Not very good, Tony. Not happy, not happy. Not but happy. we'll be here every week anyway, because we do. Uh, I've seen worse, and I've seen better, but this is worse. Come on, you Spurs. Thank you. So I'm now a Spurs fan, Dean, in the pub. Dean, are you feeling confident? I'd like to say yes, but no. The way, the way we're playing at the moment, we can't. I would like to say yes, but no. Yeah, but no. It's, um, I don't know. For some reason, we just don't look like a team that can play together. I mean, even like one win, you know, on Thursday, we just look disjointed. It wasn't until Harry and Sonny and um, Lucas came on that we looked like a team again. But we look so disjointed. I mean, the transition from like uh, from the defence to the midfield. And then trying to get up to the to the uh, strikes. It's like it's just it's just not there. What score prediction are you going with? We seem to do a two-one against Villa, and, and that's I think that's where it's going to be. Do you know we, we've beaten Villa actually ten times out of the last twelve Premier League meetings. Right, okay. Do we know? What, does, does that make you feel a little bit more confident? It does, and really she's in there, so that's always a bonus. But um, we just got to start to play, otherwise, I think there's going to be murmuring in the stand. Dean, we need some passion today, then, don't we? Oh, we do, yeah. But we need the passion from the fans, and we need the passion from the, from the players. But the fans are not going to be up here, it's the players. I thought it would be a little bit sort of. Uh, not Dooney Downing, but yeah, that's how it is at the moment. Well, I'm going for a 1-1 draw. I'm so going for a 2-1 win. You're going for a 2-1 win. Yeah. Let's hope you're right. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. We desperately need a win today. Let's hope for the three points. I want to see every single Tottenham Hotspur player giving 110% to get this win today. Come on you Spurs. Now 22 minutes gone, it's quite quiet in the crowd at the moment. Harry Kane has just fired over the bar. Tottenham haven't had a shot on target as yet. Come on! Fantastic finish, bottom right hand corner. Just what we need. First goal for Spurs, scoring on the chance of seven points from number five. So 
it's half time. Tottenham Hotspur 1, Aston Villa 0. Pierre Emil Hoybier's goal separates the two sides at the break. So far, so good. Neither team have created very much, but we are 1 0 up. So, a massive shout out to William Hill today because they have provided hospitality in this box where I have actually had dinner with Rafa van der Vaart, Clive Allen, Mickey Hazard, Graham Roberts, David Howes. Um, it has been unbelievable. The view here from this box is incredible inside the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So, William Hill, thank you very much indeed. So it's half time, Spurs are 1 0 up. I'm with Spurs fan Jason, who has just had dinner also with Rafa van der Vaart. Jace, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great, yeah, after that. Nice dinner. Nice to shake the hand of Rafa, who's one of my heroes. Yeah, really just. What have you made of the first half? Yeah, it's been good. I mean, we took a little while to get into the game, maybe 10 15 minutes, but once we, uh, once we started to dominate the midfield a little bit more, we, we started to get a grip on it. It's great that the eight scored a goal. I mean, that settled us down quite a lot, but the danger's on the break. Watkins is particularly good. We just have to, uh, you know, second half we need to move up because the previous second half that we've experienced over the last few weeks have been awful. So I hope the team talks strong today. We can go on and win the game. Three points needed. Jason, enjoy the second half. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. So I'm now with the legend Rafa van der Vaart at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. 77 appearances for Spurs, 28 goals. Played for us between 2010 and 2012. Rafa, what is it like being back here? Yeah, it's always, uh, you know, really emotional because I feel always like home. And I only always say I only played there two years. And I feel, of course I played well, but the connection with the fans, it was magic. And uh, I still have it and that's why I'm always happy when I have to come back. The fans absolutely love uh, you here. What, what is the reception like when you when you come back? Yeah, you know, it's, it's I can't describe describe it in words because you come and everybody's so nice and friendly. And you know, when you look at the stadium, everybody wants to make a picture. And, but I said only two years, but I feel really like, thankful, and I'm also thankful that they still like me. Of course, I played well always against Arsenal. You know, it's uh, but uh, you know, it's it's my second home. Now, obviously, we're at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, but you played at White Hart Lane. Your favourite memories from that stadium? Yeah, for me, the Champions League nights were amazing. You know, the, 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 the games against Inter Milan, uh, after scoring, it was uh, you know, fantastic. And, uh, of course, the stadium, no doubt, best in the world. But the history, White Hart Lane. You miss it? I miss it. I miss it. Yeah. I miss it. But, uh, it takes time, I know, but I'm a little bit old school, but... Right of them was for me special. Rafa, tell me what it was like scoring in a North London derby. Ah, it's the best feeling ever. But you know, this is always what I said to uh, to every player. When you go to a club, you have to know what's important for the fans, for the club, for the whole uh, city. Winning against Arsenal, that was the most important thing. We did it. I was lucky to score and be important. But I think that's uh, some players forget, and uh, that's why you make that extra meter or your extra. Uh, yeah, think to make a goal or something, and uh, that's what I try to do. Bradford, do you keep in touch with many former teammates? Uh, not much, but when I'm here, then I see Leslie King, Michael Dawson, many uh, former players. Clive Allen is here, he was the assistant coach. Uh, it's, it's such great to be back and uh, see all the legends again. Rafa, obviously we want the glory days back at Tottenham, um, obviously we want the trophies. Uh, the likes of Harry Kane need trophies here. What have you made of Tottenham season so far? Yeah, I think it's difficult, I have to be fair. Also, uh, now we are watching the, the game against Aston Villa. It's 1-0 up, but it's a little bit of a slow game. And I like Tottenham to attack and you know I prefer to win 4-3 than just a boring 1-0. Uh, so I think they miss a little bit of creativity and that's why also Harry Kane or Son when they got the ball, they have to do it on their own. Uh, so that's what I miss. Rafa, absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. And come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. 61 minutes gone now. Tottenham need to put this game to bed. We've had a couple of chances. Hunmin Son has been involved in all of them. We just need that second goal. We need the three points today. So important. Come on. The loudest the crowd have been today as well. Sixty seven minutes gone, one one. 
crossover from the left hand side tapped in from Hun Ming Son again that man does it again every single time what a great reply from Spurs after just conceding Second goal for Spurs, scored in the 71st minute from number 27, Lucas Moura. Come on! So 76 minutes gone now. Tongyon Dombele going off, Giovanni Lo Celso coming on. Still 2-1 Spurs. 82 minutes gone now. Giovanni Lo Celso with a left-footed shot just wide of the post. A couple of minutes ago, Harry Kane went close as well. Spurs still 2-1 up. So three minutes to go. More chances just missed from Giovanni Lo Celso and Harry Kane. We really do need to put this game to bed. Still 2-1, three minutes left. So Brian Hill coming on for Lucas Moura, who of course scored Tottenham's second goal, laid on a plate by Hun Min Son. Substitution for Miss Manuela, replacing number 20, Danny Ings, number 35, Cameron Archer. Tottenham Hotspur finally have a win in the Premier League after three consecutive defeats in the league. Tottenham Hotspur 2, Aston Villa 1, goals from Kiermi Hoybier and Lucas Moura give Tottenham the three points today, just what we needed. So it's full time, Tottenham Hotspur 2, Aston Villa 1, I'm with the legend Graham Roberts who of course lifted the UEFA Cup for us in 1984. Graham, we needed that today didn't we? Yeah we did, um, thought it was a good performance, it, there was more energy in the team today. Um, and Dombelli, you know, he needs to do more, but he did okay while he was on. Um, but the boys worked hard. Um, I think it was a sloppy goal we gave away. Three people dived in, but listen, we went straight back up the other end and, and scored. And I think, you know, we could have had three or four more. Sonny could have had two and yeah. Harry could have had one. So, yeah, it was the right result. We talk about reactions, of course we lost to Crystal Palace, Chelsea and yeah. Arsenal and then of course reaction here today, you know, Aston Villa equalised, we went straight up the other end and scored yeah. and uh, that's what it's all about. What is different for you, you know, what was different for you today than in the last three games? I think Romero at the back I thought was immense, I thought he was brilliant, done one bad thing which we dived in for the goal when he got caught out um, but he didn't put a foot wrong and I think he looks a leader for me. He looks powerful, comfortable on the ball. Um, yeah, really good. Uh, he, you know, for me, he was man of the match for me today. Graham, just a little bit word on uh, Hun Min Son as well, because he brilliant. always seems to deliver yeah. for us, doesn't he? Yeah, brilliant. You know, the bottom line of it is, we, you know, he signed his five-year contract. He plays the game happy. Um, him and Harry together are, are unbelievable. And... Uh, you know, at the end of it, we need to make sure that we look after him. And, and you know, but he was—he was absolutely fantastic. Just talking about Harry Kane as well. Seven games in now to the Premier League, he hasn't scored. Are you worried about that, or are you expecting the goals to follow soon? Yeah, but he scored three on, on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. The goals are goal. Yeah. So that counts. Um, so you know, he's playing with confidence. I thought he should have scored when he went through. Um, he had that extra touch and. Uh, Probably just caught him out, you know, caught the goal. He came out really quickly. So, um, but it was, you know, Harry is Harry, and he will score goals. Harry will still end up with 25 goals this season. So. Now we're going to the international break. Um, as a former player yourself, what is it like, you know, going into that international break? You know, after a win, you know, getting that momentum of, of winning. Um, yeah, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? 
I, I don't get like you have one two weeks ago we were, or three weeks ago we were top of the league um, we have an international break and it's falling apart we come back now we just started winning again and now we've got another yeah. another uh, international break so hopefully uh, everybody comes back fit and uh, you know we, we carry on it's a tough game Newcastle away yep. tough game then we got Man United at home two tough games coming up and we need everybody fit Graham, lastly, um, Nuno Espirito Santo's first season, what have you made of him so far? And what, in your opinion, would be a successful season for Spurs? You've got to, you got to, when you start any season, you have to win a trophy. You try, that's what you try out for. You know, you don't try out to get into the Champions League and you want to win that trophies. Yeah. You know, we only have really, realistically, we only have two trophies this year. Yeah. We're still in one of them at the moment, the League Cup. So, you know, if we could win a trophy, that would silence all the media, all the, the, the people on social media, you know, it, it, would, it would go a long way. But at the end of it, you know, we've got, to, we've got to start pushing up that league. You know, I don't know any other results today yet, but I know West Ham were losing and Palace came from 2-2. So, uh, you know, it's a good result for us today. Now, you know, we have to push on a little bit. As I mentioned at the start, 1984, when you lifted the UEFA Cup for us, um, if you were Nuno, would you go all out to try and win the UEFA Conference League? I would. I would. Well, me, I would go to win every cup. Yeah. I think that's you know, we're not going to win the league, so it's impossible. Yeah. So you go to win every cup competition you're in. So for me, the League Cup, the Conference Cup, and the FA Cup are vital for this football club. Graham, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much. Come on, you Spurs. Cheers, Graham.